Freedom Files. Tuesdays and Thursdays from 5 to 7. And Saturdays from 9 to 11. Central on American Freedom Radio. Halfway through the first hour, you're listening to Freedom Files on AmericanFreedomRadio.com. Our website is FreedomFiles.us, and we are joined by the rest of the show, by the host of the Cannabis Corner. You can check that out online, YouTube.com. Just type in Cannabis Corner, one word. Uh, my dad, Kerry Burns, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you, James. Thank you, Jeff. Afternoon, Howdy. everybody. Uh, last week, uh, Governor Arnold in uh, California, he signed this uh, decriminalization bill. And uh, for the next few minutes, we're going to sit back and let you uh, reflect on your thoughts on uh, what happened last week. Well, I think that it's really piss poor because, first of all, this should have happened 40 years ago. And it's just an attempt by the state to go ahead and still be able to have that last little hold on everybody for marijuana. When if they would, they would just wake up and realize if they would do outright legalization, turn it over to the to the free enterprise out there and open the hemp industry, they would have billions and billions and billions of more dollars. But they want to get stuck on this control thing again. And it's just, if it had happened 40 years ago, I would have applauded him because that's what should have happened 40 years ago. But sorry, Arnold, just a little bit too late. And I think the $100 fine is ridiculous because... Once it gets legal like that, marijuana is not going to cost $500 an ounce like it is in California. It's going to drop down to $10 an ounce where it should be, and all of that hocus-pocus about making all this money off of it is going to go out the window. That's why they don't want to let go of it. Pretty much. It's sad, actually. It should have happened 40 or 50 years ago. In 1970, it would have been a perfect time. They talked about leaving it off the controlled substance act, and then they just went ahead and put it on there. So, But uh, I think that's stupid. Yeah, definitely. And I, I see it as um, kind of an attempt by Arnold to uh, kind of roadblock or you know derail the Prop 19 movement. And, it's exactly uh, what they're trying to do because they know that thing's going to pass from you know in landslide numbers. So people are just sick and tired of being told what to do, especially for a substance that's never sent anybody to the hospital not one time. I mean, it's be one thing if you were dropping dead smoking it and everybody was dropping out in the streets from smoking marijuana, but that's not the case. And, any kind of harm or any kind of stuff that's happened has all been due to the law, not any anything about the substance itself. It's practically milder than drinking a glass of Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, we have a lot of people uh, drinking the Kool-Aid these days. Either it's the Obama variety or it's the neocon. Oh, boy. <laughs> 